all right guys in this video we're going to be talking about the amazing blend tool which can be creating very interesting shapes within few clicks maybe something like this flower or we can be creating unlimited creative shapes using that tool so let's say we need to create a shape like this one in here we can be creating two simple curvy lines like these two lines in here maybe using our bend tool or our curvature tool and we can be selecting that one so you can be checking their stroke settings going to our stroke panel you can see we have weight of two points and i've got that shape set for their profile to have these lines in that nice shape in here and instead of the basic uniform shape to have them in that nice way and now we can be closing that one and then i'm gonna deselect that one by clicking anywhere and then selecting the blend tool or pressing w and we can be clicking on that first line then clicking on our second line and we will be getting that blended line between our two lines we can be double clicking our blend tool to access our blending options and turning on preview and we can be changing the spacing instead of smooth color we can be selecting specific steps or distance between our two lines so let me select the specified steps and we can be increasing these steps by using the arrow key up to increase our lines like that or we can be pressing shift arrow up to add 10 steps at once and so on so we can be pressing ok and now we can be modifying our blending result by selecting maybe our direct selection tool and I'm gonna be selecting that anchor point maybe get that one closer to here like that and we can be dragging that handle a little bit maybe all the way to here we can be tweaking our shape or we can be changing the color for those two lines in here we can be selecting our stroke color and going to swatches I'm gonna be selecting maybe that orange and selecting that line and give it maybe that color in here and we can be modifying our lines using any of these drawing tools or we can be accessing our liquefying tools maybe selecting the wet tool and drag our line maybe just a little bit from here something like that and we can be accessing our blending options anytime by double clicking our blend tool selecting preview and maybe reduce that one by 10 steps or even trying 10 and maybe all the way to three steps to have a shape like that as you can see you can get so creative using that tool or we can be pressing cancel and going back one step before using the wet tool and we can be accessing our blending options again turning on preview and we can be increasing these steps to have a very nice gradient color like this one however I'm gonna be canceling that one and I'm gonna undo coloring these two lines going again to a black color we can start duplicating that shape to have a flower like this one in here and later you can be adding a white circle on top of your duplicated shapes so I'm gonna be selecting the entire shape move that shape maybe a little bit to here selecting the rotate tool placing our anchor point at that part I'm gonna be dragging our shape and pressing out and maybe duplicate it like that and then I'm gonna be duplicating that one as well maybe to here and same as well for that one I'm pressing L selecting the ellipse tool and drawing a circle from here all the way pressing alt shift pressing shift X to have that fill in black then switching that one to white fill color easily like that you can be having a shape like this one we can be selecting the entire shape and pressing shift deselecting that circle and we can be changing our stroke maybe we can be going to stroke selecting that one to three points or even one point if you would like and you can be tweaking each of these shapes to have more random look maybe like that shape in here and so on 
so let me move that one a little bit out of my artboard and using the pencil tool we can start maybe drawing another two curvy lines maybe something like that and that one in here and selecting these two lines and giving them a stroke color selecting the stroke and giving them black as well then going to our blend tool and blending these two lines double clicking our blend tool review and selecting steps so I'm gonna be increasing that one all the way like that and if we start selecting our shape we're gonna be having our two lines selected we can be double clicking that one to enter isolation mode we can be selecting each of these lines and we can start moving that one around maybe like that or even rotate our line a little bit or we can be selecting that other line and move it all the way to here and go to properties panel and you can be flipping that one vertically like that to have a completely different shape or we can be reducing their size a little bit maybe like that let me select only that one again and I'm gonna be rotating that one so as you can see even changing the path's direction will be giving you a completely different shapes or maybe undo that flipping part and selecting only these lines in here move these anchor points all the way like that so let me double click in here to get out of the isolation mode and in order to be accessing these blended lines in here, you probably guessed that one, guys. Of course, we're going to be expanding that shape. We're going to be selecting our shape. and going to Object, Expand, and pressing OK. And now we can be editing all these lines. So we can be going to our liquify tools or distort tools and selecting maybe blot tool, double clicking that one. I'm going to be reducing intensity maybe to only 5% have some control over that tool and maybe clicking in here you can see we are plotting these lines so now let me delete that shape in here and going to our layers and let me show you guys another example I'm gonna be hiding that one and maybe these shapes will be reminding you of gaming and playstations <laughs> that's right I meant that one as I'm really dying to go and play some Call of Duty However, I don't really have any time currently, so maybe we're gonna be playing with these buttons in here using our blend tool. So I'm gonna be selecting these buttons in here or these symbols and maybe move them a little bit to here to have them bigger like that. And deselecting them going to our blend tool. I'm gonna be selecting the triangle maybe, going to circle. And now as you can see, we have the blending option is set to smooth color by default. Now I'm going to be completing that blending all the way to the square. So I'm going to be selecting that circle and going to square to have that nice blending in here and going all the way to the triangle again. And we can be selecting the direct selection tool or pressing A, selecting that triangle and we can move it all the way to here maybe. And our blending will be updated. We can be selecting the entire shape pressing V, selecting the entire shape, going to our blending options and turning on preview and selecting steps. We can be reducing these steps and you can see the transformation between these shapes and you can be aligning their orientation instead to page. You can align that one to path so as you can see, they are aligned now to that triangle. However, I'm going to be setting that one to beige as it was. Maybe increasing these steps a little bit. And changing that one to distance. Or even we can set it back to smooth color. And pressing OK. And you can be selecting maybe that square. And take it all the way to here if you would like. And you can be selecting maybe that square and even change its dimension, maybe selecting that anchor point and drag it like that. 
or make it curvy. And these were some few examples on how to use the amazing blend tool. So you should really consider trying out this amazing tool and experiment with different shapes and I'll be seeing you guys.